Pale Fail Pals. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies, honey. Each one, teach one. So I'm trying my best to get you guys to see that it's a little web right there. The swinging back and forth. Now, I just um, had this Phalaenopsis orchid when I was showing you her in my orchid haul video. If you didn't get a chance to see it, I will leave a link in the info card above, okay? But as you can see, the webbing, I need you guys to let me know if this is going to be a sign or indication that I have spider mites. I need to know if spider mites is something that I would have to deal with or that should be of concern with me growing my Phalaenopsis orchids indoors. Um, I'm playing around with the lighting and the camera because I wanted you to see that, um, honey, I don't know what to do. I'm nervous. I'm scared. But it's actually um, webbing more than just that one place that I showed you. If you can see right here, it's a little webbing as well. And that's going to um, be effect in all of the blooms. Okay, Fab Pals? Each one, teach one, honey. Let me know. Let me know. What should I do? What is the next step? Is this going to be a sign of spider mites? Because it's a web from all... Come on, 4K. Fab Pals, I'm sorry it's not showing. Um, and it's because it's a web, but it's a web all the way from this bloom. Bloom that extends... You can see it right there, all the way down to these blooms. Now, Fal Pals is webbing, is webbing on these blooms as well. What is the next step, baby? Please let me know in the comment box below. Is this just um, um, an indication that I have just dust? Because it's webbing all up and through, Fal Pals. You really have to... Keep an eye on these Phalaenopsis orchids, especially around this time. Please let me know. Until next time!